and it is also shown on the uh, triangle in order to triangulate the uh, evidence or the um, information, the evidence, the uh, use of personal interviews, audit recording, audio recording, and also the content analysis were used in this study. The ethical consideration was that um, as a researcher, I did not plagiarize, uh, fabricate, or falsify any evidence, or coerce the participants, and I did also divulge the consent of the participants in terms of the results, because this is uh, personal, and um, it, it is not a good to divulge the results of the lecturers. The findings also based on the content uh, analysis uh, and the student feedback, there is audit and password. And you see that they are highlighted in red. It means that the results were poor and were lower. Yes, you see that they are in red and this might cause also a big problem. We are going to discuss the actual analysis later, but I'm just going to show you the where there are a problem. So on the audits, on the student results, and then also on the uh, student feedback, you see that there are a lot of a lot of red that are marked, which shows that the uh, student audit and password they don't have a core relationship. Analysis of the results. The results reflected that four faculty members C, F, H, and L were not were shaded in red in the table that we discussed, achieved a low score mark of 2.8 on student feedback. Because the actual measurement that we use at Boho University is 2.9% from the student. Uh, the finding also on the race scenario, we have seen that F is about 1.6% uh, low rate uh, by students, and this is not a good sign. And the pass rates were not favorable also for three members of the faculty, uh, as they did not achieve a score of 50%. The results for the module were not pleasant, like I said earlier on, but you find that there is no relationship or link between the three variables that we are talking about this um, today. The pass rate for H was pleasant, but you find that the audit is also negative, and the student, it is also negative, but there is a pass rate of 71%, as you see that, and this is what is causing a major problem. Uh, faculty D was positively rated, and this shows that there is a good human judgment. The results above have shown that there is no relationship between classroom audit and student feedback, as we see that there are a lot of variations in the uh, analysis. Now, we go into the personal interviews, where each faculty member uh, had an opportunity to be interviewed. And this is just a summary of what some of the uh, lecturers alluded or said. I you happy with the classroom audits, student feedback, and pass rates? I'm partially happy because my classroom audit is on the lower side. It shows an element of biasness for my supervisor. I scored 90% pass rate, so it means that this individual performed very good in terms of pass rate, but the, uh, also the student feedback is also at good. Uh, faculty member B, what is your comment on the student feedback and classroom audits in relation to your student pass rates? The student feedback and classroom audits were very positive, but the pass rate was very low. This is where now uh, I was trying to interview uh, D, who had very good pass rate, uh, student and uh, classroom audits, which were very good, but you find that the student's marks were very poor, and he blamed the milestone or the timetable uh, to say that they contributed to the poor results. Uh, faculty H, can you just find your high pass rate of 71%? Um, when you have lower score of feedback and classroom audits, the page managed to get a higher pass rate through my efforts, uh, but it is uh, subjective in terms of student audit 
and classroom uh, student feedback. So this uh, individual was now trying to say the instruments that are used, they are subjective like we have discussed earlier on in terms of Tondeka, the halo and the horn effect. F, faculty member F, are you able to justify uh, your 1.6 lower score mark on student feedback? The lower score mark of 1.6 is very biased as it is proved by what? By my results of 65% and also positive 3.2 from my classroom audits. So you see, when I was trying to do this uh, study, we find that there is no the core relationship between the performance uh, of the lecturer except for one individual. Now we're going to L. The student in batch one are biased. I tried to motivate them, but they were not even uh, able to be motivated and they got a pass rate of 35%. So this lecturer uh, managed to get uh, poor results, poor student feedback, and also classroom uh, audit, which was poor. Now let's discuss the summary of the results. There was a triangulation in both methods, and both the interviews highlighted that the content analysis was provided in the accounting uh, and finance department. The results reflected that there was no relationship between classroom audits and student feedback and pass rates. Recommendations to improve the teacher evaluation were made in the following uh, discussions. Uh, we discussed that uh, lecturers should be used um, uh, maybe 360 degree when we are measuring them so that we have uh, better variables or many variables to use when we are measuring them. And we also need to conduct some trainings uh, in terms of classroom audits to, so that they help the evaluator and the one who is going to be evaluated. And we also need to implement training for students and lecturers so that they understand the importance of student feedback in their lives. Uh, also include the skills uh, such as interpersonal skills and communication skills when rating the um, faculty members. And we can also implement management by objective where we remove the element of biasness in the uh, project. Now, uh, we need now to recommend that the faculty members should be enrolled in the postgraduate diploma in higher education or postgraduate in education so that they can improve in their teaching approaches and pedagogies and also corrective action should be taken when student feedback and classroom audits have been conducted because we have discovered that when there is student feedback there is no follow up and also classroom audits so hence the importance will be not be uh, seen by all the stakeholders. We can also use the balance scorecard to measure the performance of the faculty members. Uh, we can also bring in uh, public speakers to help to motivate students and also lecturers so that we can create a good rapport between uh, the student and lecturer. And then if that relationship is maintained, it means the students are going to have good uh, results. Also conduct the workshop between lecturers and students. That platform will give uh, a platform to network, which is also very important in the education. Uh, conduct workshops also that uh, talks about Maslow, Hierarch of Needs, Esbeck Two-Factor Model, and Elton Mayo in order to bring in or to boost morale in the staff members. And also it brings in uh, increase in productivity and improve on pass rates. Uh, and with this, I can say uh, those people who want to get the gist, gist of this paper, they can actually uh, look at it in our proceedings um, after the conference. I want to thank everyone for listening to my presentations. Thank you very much.